What's going on, friends? What's up, gamers? And welcome to another edition of Drollcast. I'm Oscar Gamertag, True Oz. Joining me, Jack, Gamertag Show 220. And as of recently, The X Factor. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you're bringing that up. Oh, man. It's true, though. It's totally true. It is totally true. It's totally true. What's going on, man? <laughs> Nothing much. Maybe I should change that, make that my Gamertag. Oh man! You know, I join. All right, for reference, for reference, real quick, I join a party, <laughs> and it's just Jack and a couple of friends. Shout out Cameron. What's up, Killer Cam? And this dude goes, "No, nah, bro." He's like, "I'm the X Factor." <laughs> well, it's true. Because look, what's what happening? Fucking, I'm in the background, just dying. Like, what the fuck did I just walk into? He goes, "Nah, I'm known as the X Factor." <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Whenever we play Fortnite, um, they get so mad when I die. I'm like. Guys, like it's not that big a deal. I die. Like there's still three of you left. We're in a squad, right? It's like kind of a big deal, but really it's not that big of a deal. And then I realized that just me being alive makes a big difference. Um, yeah. So it's like even if I don't shoot anybody, I may they may go into a fight, and for some reason if I'm just alive and I'm just running around like doing whatever, we're around we, we have a larger or higher chance of surviving that fight, that encounter, than we do if I were dead. So that's why I'm the X Factor, because, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I do things that may not really make a big impact all the time, but it's a big enough impact to sway the outcome of an encounter. I'm going to call them encounters, too. I'm going to call it encounters. Encounters? Yeah. yeah. But okay. it was funny. Fair enough. What I wanted to say, though, before, before we went on the story, was <laughs> I was saying maybe I should change my gamer tag to that, and then that reminded me what I want to talk about. One of the things I want to talk about is for some reason – on Rocket League, people that play Rocket League have yeah. some of the most original gamer tags I've ever seen. Oh, you well, you know why, right? No, go ahead. You can so you're playing against people on Steam. Oh, is that why? Yeah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> and you know how at Steam you could change your name to whatever, whatever you, you want. want. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Because yeah. the guy's name was like <laughs> his name was Blitz and I'm like, how do you get yeah. that gamer tag? Like OG Nate Yeah, no no no, no. I, I understand. And then another person <laughs> was like Ashton and I'm like, dude, that's like how do you get this gamer tag? It, it, like <laughs> I mean these are like it's you know, you play any other game, you don't see people like with names like that. So I guess that makes sense if you're playing against people on Steam and it just takes whatever you want to make it as. So Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well since you're bringing Rocket League up, dude, like what just happened? So one day I'm literally playing Fortnite. I go on my guide and I see Show 220, Rocket League, Drop Shot. I was like, "Wait, what? Yeah, I need exit to... game real quick." I need achievements. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> um. So what's going on, man? What like what's your experience with Rocket League so far? Uh, you said a bunch of balls. <laughs> and it goes. Well, I mean, there's only there's only one, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. It, through, throughout all the matches, you hit multiple. You know, each match has a ball, so I've hit a lot of balls from all the matches I played. And let it be known, this is the first episode I do not bring Rocket League into the mix. <laughs> well, I mean, you still you got into a little bit more. I was gonna leave it at the little gamer tag thing, uh, but no, I'm just playing. It's well, on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass, and the achievements yeah. are relatively easy. It's basically just Super play easy. the game. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. And now you know why I rage, because we did play a couple matches ranked. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think it's different ranked versus unranked, as in how far the ball has to go through the plane of the goal for it to count. Because I had never seen that. I was that. talking... <clears throat> What's that? I was talking to um, to one of the, my friends who I religiously play Rocket League with. Yeah. My, I guess my duo's partner, if you may, if I may. Um, and... Uh, I brought that up to him, and I was like, do you think that there's a difference? He goes, you know what? I never really thought about it, but I think there is. Yeah. And so, like, he's like, I'm going to play around with it. I'll come back with some hard data. I'll go, all <laughs> right, man, I'll leave it up to you. Like, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. But, yeah, I think so, because when you and I were playing, and, and your friend, I don't know if it's the same friend or not. That we're, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. all three of us were in a, a 3v3, <clears throat> and you hit the ball into the goal, and it was easily halfway in. Like, you could see... Because you see the plane. When Shine. the ball goes through it, you can see how far it is into the goal. And it was easily halfway in, at, at least halfway in. And I never seen it. And somebody jumped in and hit it out. And I never seen a ball halfway it, yeah. in. Because I don't play ranked otherwise. I only played with you that one night. So yeah. I've never <clears throat> seen that happen in a normal match. 
it's either it's like Bullshit, usually, usually a quarter in and it's like that's done it'll yep. you know so um and that was something i, I realized early on because i was like oh the ball doesn't have to go all the way in it just kind of kind of get it close and then it kind of has to shot. get in there yeah. yeah but it seemed like when we were playing ranked it was it had to go probably more than half or even probably more than that i don't you know a little more than half to, yeah. to count as a goal. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So, um, and that scenario, dude, no bullshit, is the reason why I rage so hard. I get tilted so quick right. when I play this well, game. I, is I mean, because if that's just, shit like that happens. Well, I think that's just how the game is. So if the game is no, and, and yeah, and right, it's part of the game. I yeah, get it. Yeah. So then you shouldn't get mad. <laughs> you know, because if it was. If it was the other way around, I would be like, yo, I fucking saved that shot. Let's right, go. Exactly. Like, yeah. I would be so happy. Exactly. You know? yeah. So, no, yeah, it's it's part of it. But, that, I mean, having that experience at least, you know, multiple times every night where you're just having a bad, like, bad Rocket League day where you're just losing everything back to back to back. And that happens every single round. Yeah. I, I, ultimate rage. Well, like, just, I'm done. Just, I don't want to play. Just get better. Just make better shots so they can't hit it out. There you go. Problem solved. Un- 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 uninstall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uninstall. Fucking guy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go through some stuff. Black Ops 4 beta is out. You played that. Skitty. Anything cool? I played that. You going to buy it or um, not buy it? So, so far, I'm I'm leaning towards no. Oh, that's, um, that's cool. For the first time ever, I, well, I don't want to say first time ever because I thought about this when I played the last beta as well or the last time I played a, a Call of Duty beta. So I World said, War II really? beta or which one? I think, yeah, I think it might have been that one. I'll go, really? Like, this is what Call of Duty is now? Like, it just didn't feel right. Something about it just doesn't feel right. What about uh, um, you having to minister your own health? How's that? How'd that work into the mix? So, so here's the other thing. I, okay, so right now it's a love-hate thing. <laughs> I absolutely hate multiplayer, uh, but they introduced this new game type called Heist. I don't know if you're aware of what Heist is. No, I've watched some of the like gameplay videos, but I don't. I think they were just like TDM, the ones I watched. So, so and that shit. It, I don't know. Like all of that shit just felt boring. I played it, and I'm like, uh, I get it. It's more this shit, and there's certain little little attributes. I'm like, uh, I, 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 it wasn't fun. I, I was playing it. It just was not fun. And then you bring in Heist, where it kind of plays like uh, like CSGO, where everybody starts off with a pistol. Uh, you earn money by, you know, getting kills. You earn bonus money for capturing, like, a bag and then bringing it to an extraction point. And it's basically first team to win five rounds of that uh, wins the, the game. And I feel like it just gave a, f- like, literally, like, it, it was fresh. It felt... Like, it felt brand new. And bringing that to that Call of Duty world, I think that's what they need um, in order to, to just bring people back. Because, I, I mean, I'm gone. Right now, I am i don't want this game. Um, you know, Heist, I think it's something that I would enjoy watching if it was part of competitive. Um, and I enjoy playing it as well, like, a lot. There's a lot of strategy that goes along with it. If you have a really good team and know what everybody's doing, everybody has a role. You know, everybody has to buy different things. It's it, it's extremely fun if you get you know get going with a with a good team. Um, and the uh, the thing with 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 the game is that alone is not enough for me to to get it. So right now I'm leaning towards no. However, come September, they're going to release the uh, what is it? Blackout. I don't know. I think it's called Blackout, uh, which is basically Battle Royale, you know? Uh, once they release their BR, like, So is that going to be part of So if you have beta now... You'll still... You'll get in invited that. into the other one. Yep. So it's a separate invite? No. Is it open Same for game. everybody? It's not open. So, so you need to have... You, have you need your, to pre-order code it. code and all that stuff to get it. Okay. Yep. So pre-order it, or if you have uh, Xfinity, you can do that whole Xfinity thing and... If you don't know what I'm talking about, it just Google Xfinity Call of Duty because everybody kind of took advantage of that. Um, but yeah, no, like once I play that, then that's gonna maybe add on a little a little more to it. Um, but playing Heist, I think, gave me a general idea of what uh, Blackout is gonna be like. Because you. in Heist, you you could you could get downed. It's basically S and D, search and destroy, but you can pick your teammate back up. You know. So same thing as BR. If you if you're playing squads, you go down. You can pick your homie up if, as long as nobody finishes them off, right? Yeah. So I got a general feel of what it could be like, and I have a feeling I might enjoy it. So because I'm I'm enjoying heist right now. So. Does um in heist you first of five rounds wins the match, right? <clears throat> yeah. 
do is everybody start with a pistol every round or say if i win round if my team wins round one do i you buy so in between after each round uh there's a shop so you you could go in and buy shit very csgo style so it's definitely the possibility that one team can have way better weapons than the other team uh yes yes and no um it all depends, you know. It all depends on people's play style and, and whatnot. I mean, the cheapest gun is seven hundred and fifty dollars, which you start off with five hundred. Let's just say you just play a match, you get a bonus like thousand. So chances are you, you'll end up having enough to wait, buy. Wait, wait. Does money carry carry over between matches? Between rounds, yeah. Okay, okay. You say whenever you play a match, so I was confused. Okay. Well, there's five matches, five rounds. Five sorry. rounds in a match, right? Yeah. In a match, yeah, correct. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. So it's so not like it's not like I can, round, it's not like I save a bunch of money, or no, no, no. Let's say in payday, in payday <clears throat> two, you have like your, your normal money, then you have your offshore account. So it's not no, like not I don't like have that. my in game like right now, but ten percent of that gets thrown in my offshore account for like use something bigger and like some, yeah, so, no, okay, nothing like that. Okay. None of that. Which I also this. want to get into heist and payday and all the other stuff. For you, is there ever a certain time of year when you feel like playing a certain, like not a, or a specific game? Like say summer comes around, is there a game that you just like oh, all of a sudden wow. feel like playing? <laughs> or That's funny. winter time comes around, is there a game you feel like playing? Like just always, for whatever reason, some game pops in your head at so. some point of the year. For me, for the past, I want to say, maybe like six years or maybe, I don't know, how long? All right, so I guess it all depends on when the game came out. <clears throat> um, but my my cousins, my little cousins fucking love Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And every time they're on summer vacation, it was just, dude, a new world on Minecraft. Like every summer, yeah, it was a new world in Minecraft that we would play. Um, you know, they're growing up, they're, you know, getting into other things and they're, you know, some of them are even working now. So it's like, like that's like that faded out this year. So it's so weird that this summer I'm not playing Minecraft. Right. It just completely weirds me out. But yeah, I mean, I guess Minecraft was my thing. I, I don't really have one anymore, though. I mean, is there any other game that just like that? Not even that you play. Like there's games I haven't played in years, but I realized yeah. the other like last week or so that I feel like depending on the time of the year i want to play that game so one game for me is xuna racers on super nintendo and i think the reason mm -hmm. for that is because when it came out i had one of my friends and i we we played it like all summer all the time like, this is what we did yeah so i feel like whenever summer comes around i feel like playing xuna racers i never never really thought about when i wanted to play or why i wanted to play it but i thought about it and that kind of made sense to me it was like oh because i probably played this all summer for, every summer you yeah, yeah or not, I mean, maybe not every my, summer but like at least one of the summers you know like when all one summer in 1990 whatever it was when the game yeah. came out that's that's what i did and i figured like and also during the summer i want to play payday because that's when payday 2 came out and that's kind of what we <laughs> played a lot you know things like that or yeah during the winter i feel like playing command and conquer a lot because that's when I usually did you that. You normally play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just one of those things where it's like I, I realized that there's certain games I want to play at certain points of the year. And I think it was because I how much I had played them when they came out or just that, you know, it matches up with the, oh, I'm hot and sweaty. And when else was yeah. I hot and sweaty? It's just like some subconscious mm -hmm. thing that goes together. And you makes just you, think about that. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, it pops in your head. And you're like, I want to play Unit Racers, you know, or something like that. So, yeah. Anyways, I thought that was interesting, and that was an easy no, it is. transition it's, to make. It's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, some it's more stuff. We Happy Few came out. I played a little bit. You haven't played, nothing, you know, you haven't played yet, right? I haven't played just yet, uh, but it, it is definitely on my list to uh, right. to check out. Right, right. Uh, I, I said it way, way before that once the game came out, I was actually going to enjoy it. I was going to avoid all alpha because right, you I, did. I, I had so many issues, and I did. Uh, because I had those issues, to be fair, and I've explained that in the past. So yeah. now that the game is officially out, definitely gonna go ahead and enjoy right. that. Just congrats so to Compulsion. Shout out games. to Compulsion. Yeah, yep, exactly. Definitely. And definitely. that was about it. I just want to give him a shout out. Say we have a few is out, and if you haven't played shout it, out. you need to check out the game. If you don't know what it is, go watch the trailer. So we'll talk more about that in the I, probably coming weeks. Yeah, maybe a long time. Just because I feel like okay, it's, it's a long game. Yeah, and also I I can talk about this real quick. There's a bunch of stuff in the very very first level. A uh, bunch of like file cabinets and desks and stuff like that that you can search. I mean, because the game is all about finding supplies, Story finding things, you, yeah, yeah, all that type of stuff. So you need to find pieces. You need to craft some stuff. You know, you also need 
health and other things so you can keep living and just stuff like that right but there's so many things that are empty that i'm tired of searching stuff already and i'm maybe like an hour <laughs> into the game i just don't want to search any like, I'm, I'm already over it pile the rubble you have to yeah you kind of have to search to find all your supplies and stuff i mean you can just follow the story and just go with whatever i guess but i mean you still need stuff to like progress Eventually, through like there was a point where you need a lock pick so if i search, didn't pick up all the bobby pins need it. then how am i gonna make a lock pick oh, yeah that's true and then you need I like you need like a crowbar and actually i got lucky and i found a crowbar in some random super random spot it was like in the middle of a field somewhere <laughs> where if you were just following the story you wouldn't have been um i was looking for parts so i could make one and i happened to actually find one but i mean what are the odds of that so yeah. yeah, you do need to search. You need to look around. If there's a dead body, you got to search it. And also, I just search when when I need to. And also the like the little detection of where, uh, say, say I'm close to like a recycle or like a trash can, and I want to search the trash can, right? Sometimes it'll act like I want to search the file cabinet behind it, or it's it seems I don't remember that from Alpha and Beta. I don't remember having that like r wide range of space where I'm highlighted something. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a bug in the final or if they meant to do that or what. I don't <laughs> well, know. There's a patch already, so. Well, I mean, this I played. I played after all the patches, so I downloaded like a 10 oh, okay. gig patch and then I played it. So that had to be, you know, it wasn't like I played it day one. I played a couple days ago, so it was out for a week or so before I played it. Um, but anyway, I don't know. There's some weird things in it. I definitely. What I just stated, though, are just small technical things. It has nothing to do with how great I think the story is so far, or where it's going to go, or if the you know what I mean. That's just like little, little, little immediate things. things that you notice and just yeah. kind of get annoyed with. But other than that, I mean, we'll get more into that as, as we, as we, as we play as and we actually go play through. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because that's not <coughs> something you can say like, oh, you know, this is this is it about the game. You can't do it that fast. <laughs> yeah. That's something that yeah, you definitely got to take time to. Takes time. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot of time. Oh, I can tell you that. Sure. I can tell you that. For sure. Yep. I agree. Uh, Fortnite came out on Android. So if you Fortnite. have Fortnite, so if you have an S7, S7 Edge, <coughs> S8, S8 Plus, S9, S9 Plus, Note 8, Note 9, Tab S3, <laughs> or Tab S4, you can play Fortnite right now. And if you. Well, nobody has a Note 9 or a Tab S4 just yet. Right, but right. But if, go ahead. But if you do mm -hmm. get one, so if you pre order one, um, you get a Galaxy skin. So. Yeah, yeah, and it looks pretty cool. I saw yeah. the skid, and I was like, "Oh, damn!" Right, right. right. And we'll, um, we'll have a link so off to I that. So I do have one so. of the, oh. I do have one of the phones listed in uh, said list. Yeah, and I was uh, invited to download the uh, the the thing. Really? Couldn't anybody download it? Wasn't it just like go on the um, website and download the APK? I got an email. I don't know. I got an email. I was like, "Hey, check it out. We're out. Uh. Download this." And it's like a launcher. I'm like, "Wait, what?" And then the launcher downloads the the game. I'm like that's stupid. Uh, I thought they were just throwing the uh, APK like on Epic or something like that. Yeah, so the APK is for a launcher, oh, okay. and then you download that. Okay. So you and that downloads the game. So, but you still had to log in and all that. So it could be like it yeah. was for for Fortnite on iOS too. Like you could have the the game, but without the invite, you didn't really do any good. I uh, probably I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, I played it. Um. I didn't like it. I mean, it played okay. It's just, I don't know. I mean, you said it best. No controller or no mouse and keyboard? No thanks. Right. I mean, well, they added, I haven't tried it yet. They added auto fire, which I think would be really helpful for... Stupid. Why is it stupid? It seems like it'd be... It's just a waste of ammo. I literally aim at somebody and it's just like... <laughs> it's so like, a, like, it just, yeah, it just fucking gives away my position and I can't yeah. even sneak up on them. Yeah. Um, I did hit an amazing fucking sniper shot. I literally just whipped around and shot and got a kill, and I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, yeah. I wish I recorded that shit. That's funny. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, whatever, dude. It's Fortnite on mobile. Everybody's already experienced it on iOS, right? Um, and whatever, you know, new people on on Android, and um, I don't know, man. It's just, I mean, I have a Note Eight, and that's a pretty big phone, and I still don't like how it feels. Interesting. I mean, it's just so, well, shooters on mobile. It's difficult anyway. So yeah, it's just hard. But I mean, it is what uh, it is. Basically, I mean, it's a it's a version of Fortnite. It's not meant to be as competitive as console or PC versions. Obviously, it's just <laughs> meant to have the experience on the go. Is really all it's for. But that's the thing. You could join people from console or PC, right? right. 
and then your entire experience is just ruined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Because you're much... gonna get destroyed. Yeah, and and the thing is that no matter what lobby you join, if, you know, being mobile, somebody else is inviting their friends, and you're just fucked. Well, I mean, you don't have to play like that. Or it's like, hey, you and I are at PAX, and we're at lunch. Yeah. We're having lunch break, and we're gonna play Fortnite together. You and I are in the same lobby. We're both on mobile. Yeah. We're playing as other mobile players. It's not a. So I mean. It's not meant to be a replacement for a console or a PC. It's meant to be yeah. an on-the-go version. On and own, it, and yeah. why not? I mean, it is difficult to play with somebody that's on console or PC. You're at a significant disadvantage on mobile. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the option exists. It's there. I would rather have yeah. that option than not to have it. Because, no, yeah, I mean, most of the time I don't really care if I die or not. Fuck you, sir. And it's, it's something to do. Like, say I'm at a doctor appointment and I'm bored or I'm at the DMV and I'm waiting for three hours <laughs> it's like you and Every I can time. play for and I'll run around and collect some <clears throat> stuff and maybe get a couple lucky kills or you know yeah. who knows it's, it's whatever it, it's nice to have that option that, so yeah, I'm not mad at it um, obviously it's not perfect and controller support would mean would mean you could actually play it like then I could yeah. I could bring my phone somewhere and a controller or my iPad and a controller and instead of bring Enjoy my it. console and everything <laughs> else yeah and it's I can go right <laughs> from my phone to a TV or yeah. I can mirror it to an Apple TV. Like, oh, there's so many options available here where it's like, now that's a replacement. Now that that's a oh game changer at that point. I didn't even so. mention this. I played it on Switch. Yeah. Ugh. It, it is the worst. Why is it bad? If you're playing it on the go on the Switch, it's so shitty. What? It, I just, just the control. I don't know, dude. I just don't like the controls at all. It just feels weird. Uh, that's funny. One of my friends um, bought a I Switch. played it on on my TV with the with the Pro controller, yeah. and that's okay. That that I mean, I that I get. Yeah. You know, but the uh, other way, like portable. Oh my god, it is just awful. <laughs> that's that's funny. It just you you're better off playing like it's the same experience as playing mobile. It's just so bad. We have a controller. Sure, but I I mean, if you're on the go, you're just playing on the on the screen itself. No, you have the the Joy Cons. Well, yeah, but still, it's still bad. Like it's still just weird. You're you're. I don't know, dude. It's just too far apart. I need my thumbs kind of near each other. <laughs> I don't. What the left <laughs> thumb never does anything for the right thumb, and the right thumb never does anything for the left thumb. Look, I've been playing Fortnite since before anybody has been playing Fortnite. No, I, we don't want to watch you probably do, say the same too. What I want you to and do, it though, just feels weird. I want you That's to play all. play like Doom or something on on Switch or any other shooter on switch that's been ported and see if you had to get the same feeling because you should i mean the shooter's a shooter and there's nothing different yeah. about Fortnite than an, another shooter so <clears throat> but it's just i don't know it's just the i, I don't know i don't know what it is i'm, I'm, I'm well, that's what i'm it. saying i want you to play another shooter <laughs> on switch so try that out try out doom or wolfenstein or what else is on switch it's a good shooter fucking whatever i don't know but yeah try one of those and see if you have the same feeling uh yeah cool red dead yeah red dead two uh red dead redemption two red dead redemption two red, red, <laughs> red dead redemption two <laughs> gameplay dropped uh, uh you watched dude, the video gameplay i did video. i mean i saw i saw it when it dropped and i just saw it again just now for like a refresher yeah um uh, i saw it without audio the first time what a fucking mistake yeah how does that happen um, I was at work. Oh my god! <laughs> and I, was, I I just had to see it. <laughs> this guy. Everybody was just posting it. I was like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! I plugged in my headphones. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Fuck it. Um, I'll wait till I get home, and then I completely forgot until just now. Yeah. Uh, is it too early to say game of the year? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do we ever decide? That shit looked um yeah i know what what really classifies as game of the year yeah first what what makes a game game of the year <laughs> second when is the official time for because right now like we're gonna have games coming out in quarter four of 2018 and that for still me, qualify as game of the year well that's the question do they because a game like red dead redemption 2 especially from that trailer that's gonna be another like 40 hour game probably if you just follow like the main storyline without doing anything yeah. anything crazy so it's like some people have the time to complete, you know, a forty-hour game. Some people are some are people not will. going to yeah. have this. So it's like, should we cut it off? <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> should we? <laughs> does should games have to be out by the end of August to qualify as 
So it's August to August. Does that make sense? <coughs> yeah, or because September August 1st, is like the dead period. September 1st, 2017, Endgame. right? September 1st, 2017 <laughs> to August. What, it was 31 days in August. Is that what it is? To August 31st, yeah. 2018. Should that be the window for Game of the Year? And then you have until the end of December to decide what the Game of the Year is for like 2017, 2018-ish, or just whatever. That's just the year. Yeah. Does that make sense? We got to uh, we got to bring this up to the academy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we just we'll just make the rules and then we'll, we'll make <laughs> we are the academy. <laughs> yeah. We'll make the rules and then we'll just say that this is what everybody should go by. Because like, I mean, it's, gamer. it's it's crazy. Games will come out and then you have like the game awards come on a week we after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A week after a game comes out, Where? it's winning like game of the year. And I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, like <laughs> the game that just came out, yeah, yeah. Like Mario or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm no, just like, wait a minute, this is crazy. This is craziness. This should be for next year. It came yeah. out too late, so um, it should be a cutoff. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start the the national. What, what are we gonna call it? The National Association of Gamers <laughs> Game of the Year. I don't know. I would just make <laughs> whatever it, the fuck it make is. Make it something simple like <laughs> this. Well, no, it has to be an acronym too. So we gotta make it cool. We'll we'll put a pen on that. Um, I don't know. But Red Dead Redemption Two. Saw the gameplay. I mean, dude, I fucking I, I, I love the first one. And it's just it's the f- you build your camp, you support your camp, you're giving them food, this you're is doing this, you're this doing is all that. two, and two, yeah, yeah you're doing well. all this shit, and I'm just like, th- yes, like all of this, <laughs> I want, yes, all of it, get just fucking, just give me, yes. See, the presentation of this game and the graphics look amazing. Fucking I'm just dope. unsure how fun it will really be. That's the all. Fir- oh, man. You, you got to tame your horse, and you build a relationship with it. Yeah. And depending on how you treat it is, you know. Wait, like, but that's what I'm saying. There's you so build many, your persona. There's so many like, little things, Like, if you do bad though. things. Uh, but that's all. And all of that is what makes Rockstar who they are. I guess. I think All of that is what makes them who they are. I think there's a point. Grand Theft Auto is the same way. But there's a point in a game where micromanaging becomes no more fun like having all these little stats and these little things and i have to worry i don't ever as long as i never have to see them i don't care but you have to see it like if my horse doesn't like me i want to know about it. you'll get a visual you'll get a visual representation about it right and then i gotta probably stop everything else yeah then i gotta like focus focus on making my horse happy again and then, no, it, yeah, you fucking you, you shoot it in the fucking head and you get a new one. No, then you got to rebuild the relationship all over again. Yeah, that's called life, my friend. I'm just saying that's that's that's, that's the point. <laughs> it is life. That's the point. It's not. I'll just go and I'll be like, yo, I'll go to the local horse farmer. Like, dude, I need a new one. Ho- hopefully there's a hot girl looking over the horse, oh not feeding God, it water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And then I'll fucking buy the horse off of her. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. No, I get what you're saying, but still, it's it's still like uh, attention that you have to take away. See, I'm doing the main storyline, and then all of a sudden something happens to my horse, and now I got to focus on fixing my horse or getting a new horse and retraining it. So let's say I'm if, sure. No, you. I mean, I'm sure you just go up to somebody, you fucking buy a new one, and you move on. And if it likes you, it likes you. If it doesn't, no, you have to doesn't. build a relationship first. It's just not going to immediately <clears> like <throat> you. So let's say. Let's say I'm far out, like I'm I'm far in the game. Let's say I'm 30 hours in, and I have maybe like yeah. five or six missions left. And these are now these they're difficult missions probably because I'm so far in the game. Yeah. And something happens to my horse, it dies, or I accidentally shoot it, and or whatever, and it hates me. Something happens, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say so. I either have to retrain my horse to make sure it's going to be okay for these intense missions, or my horse died, and I have to get a new one and basically retrain it. So it'll be ready for the missions again. So again, I'm taking instead it's of it's not going to be it's mm, not going to end up mm, being too crazy. Mm, I highly doubt it'll be that crazy. That's or the whole that point. Depth. That's the whole. I point. don't think it'll be that in depth. That's the whole point. Uh, I don't know. That's the whole point. It seems it seems a little much because even in Zelda, you get a fucking horse and you could just get a new one. Right. Oh, the new one has faster speed and jump. That's cool. different though. That's different. I lose this it. This is like oh, I got one with only three speed and like two jump. Like that's whatever. different though. That's different. That's totally different. It's not because you just said and even in the gameplay trailer, you build a relationship with your horse and what they showed was that you give it a carrot, you fucking brush his hair. You yeah, but on. I mean, the game is slow. It's not like this happens in an hour or ten minutes. This is going to be like something you have to spend days of in-game you time take on. It, 
look, you take the horse to a location, right? You you buy the horse, you take it to a location, you feed it a fucking carrot, you give it some water, and you move on with the fucking rest of your mission. The horse already like loves you. It's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be more. I don't know. More we'll see. Because the whole point was Bottom like, line. the whole point was, you know, when you're in combat, when and you start off with this horse and you start shooting, the horse gets spooked because it doesn't know you, it doesn't know who's shooting or what's going on. Yeah. Then as time goes on the horse becomes more comfortable. So there has to be degrees of comfortability. It just can't be, like, uncomfortable that and then comfortable. Yeah, yeah so... There I has just to be don't think it'll take that long to fucking get a horse to like you. I'm saying maybe, like, if you just... If you basically spend your time, like, grind on making your horse like you, it's probably going to be 45 minutes, an hour. If I had to guess, I'm thinking, like, that seems but like all a of decent the, amount of time. Be, but within that time frame, you're also doing other shit. You're just Right, but what if I'm at the horse. point... What if I'm at the point where... All I want to do is the last five missions, and I'm kind of done with all the other stuff. And now my horse needs to be retrained. Now all my attention Yo, has been diverted. Load last checkpoint. Nah, bro. It don't work <laughs> like that. This is real life, bro. Don't you know about real that real life. life? Yo, real talk, though, when the dude put the horse or the, the, I don't know, he was hunting for something and put the, the, the carcass on the back of the horse and just hopped on the horse yeah. and brought it to the, the general store. Yeah. That whole interaction, the entire time, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. Oh no, like sorry, <laughs> this is the experience that I want. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and like the whole, um, I forgot what they called it, but it was like the multiple aim. So like the guy aimed at three guys, dead three shot guy guys, or dead, dead, whatever it was, dead eye, dead eye. And then you like pop, 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 all like Western yeah. style, quick. I was like, that's sick. I'm like, nah, I'm, yeah. I'm messing with that. Uh, I thought that was cool. <laughs> um, I mean, the game, like I said, it's it's gonna be a good game. But um, play poker. Oh man, right. But really again, when am I gonna do that? Why am I gonna waste oh, hours dude. playing poker in the game? I'll, with you, I'll, I'll, you cl- yeah, with me, with like nah, two other people. We're just gonna bullshit it. around. Oh, oh dude, you say that now, but wait until there's an achievement worth like hundred gamers going. You'll be like, yeah, it won't be hundred gamers. It's gonna be like ten. <laughs> it's gonna be like win fifty hands of and poker. It, and it's gonna be like ten gamers score. Still be worth it. No, it won't. and you'll still do it, and you'll fucking nope, enjoy nope, it because it's Rockstar. I'm not gonna buy it. It's gonna be fucking game of the year. You've actually been boycotting this game, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not boycotting aggressive it. Arg- no, aggressive. No, uh, I was I was upset at the at the marketing that was wasn't labeled as marketing that's what i was upset yeah 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 sneaky marketing that's more i don't know if that's <laughs> rockstar fault though i think i was just like the way it was handled yeah, on yeah. the company site yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so um Anyways. but i still need to finish the first one i started the first one um i'm maybe like an hour into it so i got like 100 more hours to go and um <laughs> yeah that's me with zelda i already gave up <laughs> <laughs> Two, a week and a half later i was like fuck this <laughs> no uh, i'm, I'm, I'm chipping away oh, oh, i'm gonna right. chip away yeah. at it sure you are. i'm gonna chip away at yeah, it sure you are. just slowly but there's other games that take priority right now sure you are anyways quakecon happened also quakecon and yeah. we got a, a the main well there was a fall 76 news too did you look at any of that i didn't put it in i didn't look notes. at any of it nope uh basically i want to be as surprised you know the way that okay. you watch a movie where like yeah. no trailers no this no that yeah that's how i want to go into uh fallout 7 i mean i've already seen trailers and shit but that was like the announcement of it right right here's what we expect that we might be able to pull off <laughs> no i think <laughs> i guess that's <laughs> i think anything they've said so far is definitely it's what they're it's so because it's so late in development yeah so that that's all that i want so show me that right yeah show me that and I saw it. I consumed that content. I consumed that 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 announcement. And then the next thing that I want is Xbox, download game, purchase, install, play. That's all. That's it. Great. That's it. Great. That's all I want. Well, real quick, Anyways. for other people who might be interested, because um, you know they have the whole online experience. And there's a lot of questions around, you know, what happens when you die, et cetera, et cetera. What if somebody just goes around killing everybody? So one answer to that. Maybe is there's going to be bounties. So if you go around killing everyone or if I go around killing everybody, there'll be a bounty on my head. And the person I kill, so let's say I kill you, there if you kill me... will never happen. Well, I'm just saying, I'm probably not going to play the game, but this is this is what will happen in the game. <laughs> exactly. Say I kill you in the game, and then you come back and get revenge on me, you get double the bounty. So, so there's more incentive. If I kill you, because I get the revenge, I get double the cash? Yeah. What if you kill me? Does it double up again? Well, you get whatever double my bounty is. So I killed another person, even though I killed so you twice. every time you keep going back and forth, it's double the bounty? No, 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 no. What do you mean back and forth? You kill me. Yeah. 
you get my money. I kill you, I get double my money. No, 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 you no, kill no. Me again, not your money, not you your money. The bounty is money? not equal to your money. No, no, no. Okay, no. well, whatever, whatever the the, the bounty. Let's is, say, right? let's say I kill, I kill somebody. Does it multiply? That's all I'm asking. No. On the third tier. No, if I don't you know. Kill me back they didn't after say. I have killed you. They didn't say okay. how much the okay. bounty that could was, go. That's fifty dollars. That, that was all my question. Let's say that was, that was it. Okay. Well, I don't know. The answer is I don't know. They okay. didn't say. Okay. I don't think it would because that would be exponential growth, which would harm like the economy the of the economy? game. Economy. Yeah. yeah. So no. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say just. But you always get two like times the times. amount. The, re- the person looking for revenge gets two times the amount. So if it's, say I kill the first person, I kill you, and it's I get it. My bounty is a hundred dollars on my head. Not because I stole hundred dollars for you. That's just my bounty. I could have took five thousand dollars from you. Yeah. So the bounty is hundred dollars on my head. And let's say I go kill another person. Maybe it goes to one fifty. <laughs> um, and then anybody you know who's looking for revenge gets double that one fifty. So they get three hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. So I thought that was an interesting way of dealing with it because first, everyone's going to be looking for you because you have a bounty on your head. So you, you're worth more money. Yeah. Right. So there's no reason or there's less incentive to go around killing people. Here's the thing. If you claim a bounty, does that person go after you now? That's a great question. They don't, I didn't watch the whole video and the little thing okay. I read didn't say. But yeah, that's... You know what? Don't don't want to know. Don't want to know. I'll experience it all when oh, it comes out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Over trailers. Um, <laughs> anyway, so they showed a lot of Doom Eternal gameplay at QuakeCon. And... I, Just in time, considering Doom is now part of Game Pass. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. And so is Rage, which we'll get into in a second. Yep, yeah, Doom and Rage are both part of Xbox Game Pass. I started downloading Doom the other day, and I was going to play it today. I had a whole plan for it, so I was going to like watch Eternal gameplay and then play Original Doom and just kind of see the differences, because I haven't played Original Doom yet. And I forgot that I paused my Doom download the other day. <laughs> And it's 60 gigs, so... Jesus. Yeah. So it wasn't like... <laughs> and we were recording within, like, an hour. So I was like, well, this isn't this isn't happening uh, today. So I have no no input to give right now on Doom 1 versus what I saw for Doom Eternal. But what Other I... Other than the fact that it's available on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass... Yeah. We're, we should fucking get a kickback from Game Pass, man. I feel like... We talk about Game Pass almost every week. Well, it is the greatest service. It, it, it's good. I mean, well, they keep adding great games to it also, which makes it even better. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's definitely worth the $10 a month. There's amazing games on it. And like we said, they keep adding other games that I wanted to play. So, yeah, yeah it's all good. But, I mean, so Doom Eternal, what I noticed is, <laughs> well, first, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to box these two together real quick. Rage sure. 2 and Doom Eternal both look like Bulletstorm. Just... <laughs> just a little different. I was gonna okay. I was gonna save that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still out there real quick to, about rage too. Yeah, but right. well, I, now that you put it out in the air, well, they it's both in the like atmosphere, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing I noticed about Doom Eternal that I thought was interesting is that um, I think Doom One. I, I, I could be wrong because I didn't get to play Doom One. I'm talking Doom One as in the reboot Doom One, not Doom One from like 1992 or whatever it was. Oh, gee. Doom. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the reboot from 2016, right? Two years ago. I think that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that one was pretty linear, just like any other single-player shooter campaign would be. Whereas I felt Doom Eternal, it was more of an arena. You were in an arena, and you were jumping back and forth. It'd be like AI were other Juggling. players. Yeah, so you're jumping back and forth. You're going from this part of the arena to that part of the arena. And then after you killed so many enemies in that arena, uh, like a bigger enemy came out, and it opened a new area you can go into. So it like expanded Another arena. The... Surprise! Right, right, right. <laughs> right, but I just thought it was a cool way of handling levels. Instead of making it linear, because usually every first-person shooter is a linear level mm-hmm. for a campaign, and I thought that was a really cool way of addressing, you know, like making something different, but not totally reinventing the wheel. Just like, hey, what if we just put this here and just it, it, showcasing it some other yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. And so they have, I think they call them areas, right? So the first area they showed was Hell on Earth, and then I don't remember mm-hmm. the name of the second area they showed, but it was completely different. <coughs> um, so just, it was cool. You had these completely different environments and. It wasn't so much about. I guess actually the story is pretty deep. They they said that they're really into lore and they're creating a, a Doom universe, just not another Doom game. It's, it's just the, you know, like the the birth of the real Doom universe. So I guess they were gonna yeah. have a big story about it. But it wasn't like um, what's it called? It didn't seem like it was sequential. Maybe it is because they only showed a couple of the areas. So maybe all the areas it wasn't together. Too, yeah. Um, but what it it was, it was cool. I liked it. I liked the idea of that. And you can also, gosh, what they call it? What was the name of that feature? where 
you can hop in. Let's say I'm playing. You can hop in and take control of the uh, enemies. I forget the name, but yeah. Started with an I. Whatever it was, in, started with an it, I. Yeah, in, inquis- in No, no, no. no. Insurgent. Yeah, it might have been something like that. I forget. Invasion? It maybe it was invasion. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So people can invade your campaign, and this is completely optional. Right. So you can uh, turn so that off. Can... It's just like saying, I don't want to, you know, like if you're playing Crackdown 1 or Crackdown mm-hmm. 2, you could have it so think randoms two, yeah. could, I think both of them. I think um, you could have randoms to join your game. It was like open everybody on Xbox Live or open to only friends or open to nobody. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's the same idea with, with this version of Doom. But instead of them being your ally, they're going to be trying to kill you. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's awesome. And you can create little little squads and go out and just ruin somebody's game. Not ruin, but like give them a challenge. Right, right. Um, and I thought that was great. I think that, that I, I will definitely enable that if I if I decide to get this. Uh, definitely enable that mode, that, that mode. Cause it just, it, because it, it just, like you said, it's an arena shooter. Like it just seems like an arena shooter. Yeah. Um, here's the thing that I didn't like about this trailer or gameplay that they showed. And I don't know if this is like, I, I don't know how accurate it is to, to final. It felt like every time he swapped a gun, it felt like the game paused all around him. Yeah. Like, they were hot swapping pretty quick, but there were certain times where it was, like, a little bit of a delay, and even in that delay, like, the entire world stopped. So how do you handle that in invasion mode, right? right. Like, do you just remove it completely, or... And, I don't know, every time people show gameplay footage, the person playing is a complete dope. Like, they're just, they're slow, they don't, like... I, I get that they want to show... They need to, like, highlight certain things, but I feel like they do it in such a dummy way that you're just like just fucking do it or like you're just yelling like just you got done, real mad you about know? this uh, i didn't get upset because about well what i wanted to see is more of that flame on the left hand side and they used it maybe once i'm like times, uh, what the times, fucking yeah. waste yeah. so the entire time i'm just like just fucking use that i don't know certain little things like that um it feels uh, very limited i mean all of the 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 melee kills were all repeated like yeah. once you saw like two or three, you saw them all. You yeah, know? pretty much. Um, don't get me wrong; they're fucking. They look amazing, but um, and then that's not really the point of the game. I mean, it, obviously, it's to be gory and fucking over the top and shit. But um, I, I just feel like it might get a little too repetitive. Yeah, for, I agree with that, liking. and that's why I wanted to play the first one too to see how it compares. Because they said you know they yeah. added more more enemies this time, more ways to, to kill enemies. Yeah. So that's why I'm wondering like, is the first one even more like? limited than this is it arena i guess is the that's the other question i want to know yeah so yeah. is it linear or arena style um what kind of kills are there Cause, i mean bullet storm had a ton of different kills. there's still kills i haven't completed in bullet storm you know yeah. cause they have like <laughs> the kill list or whatever and there's yep. hundreds of them and there's still ones i haven't completed and i felt like you said you know there was it felt like there was only so many options to you know melee or do whatever uh yeah. cut up an opponent it's so and it just seemed a little limited and they were cool like you said i agree agree Mm-hmm. What I really wanted to see though was like they have the the hook or whatever. What do you want to call that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking the about? Grappling. Yeah, it's like yeah. grappling hook, which I thought was cool. But you know, then they had the little flying ball, the red ball things that have been like in every Doom game forever. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? I don't know what they're called, but they're little flying red ball things. And you know, he was like on the ground and he grappled up to them, and then killed them or shot them once or twice. Like, why can't I jump up, like shoot it while I'm grappling towards it and kill it and then like jump on it and then jump off of it and go do something else. It just seemed like they hadn't really thought of extra things to do once you do move one. That's yeah. what it seemed like. It also just stops there. Yeah, also why can't I grapple like if I can grapple my body the environment. Yeah, or why oh, that, that too. But why if I can grapple my body up to the guy floating around or flying around, whatever you want to call it, why can't I pull him down towards me? Same thing like I mean Bullstorm I can, the other way I can around. pull it yeah. So why can't I pull him down and then, like, swing him into another enemy or take a smaller enemy and swing it into a boss or, like, a mini boss? And, you or know... into an explosive. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. No, so I feel of, like there's so boss. many things that, that could have been done. And just... I don't know if they are possible. Maybe they will be in the full version. Maybe this was just a really, really limited preview. But it seemed like they were trying to show you, like, all the stuff you could do. And it, even when they were like, okay, let's pause for a minute and it's going to get crazier. And I felt like it's literally the same stuff. 
Uh, they got yeah. It just, it's like, oh, you guys want to see more? You guys want to see? Oh, okay, we'll yeah. change the the, the field yeah. of view and uh, and uh, the POV and mouse and keyboard, right? Yeah, mouse and keyboard, sixty frames, baby. Yeah, I was they like, go in. And I'm just like, I just saw uh, this. The same I, thing I just saw. I just, I just, I just, yeah, I literally that, and that's what I mean with people fucking straight up dopes. They're just dummies. I don't, man. I don't think so. I just think that's all there it was. Must, that's all there was. I don't think it was a person playing being dumb. It's just that that was the that is the game. That's it. They had certain things they needed to highlight, and they did that, and they just played really dumb. I feel like it could have been so much cooler. It well, maybe the so game is just not cool. Things. Maybe it's just not cool. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> then they, sh- they had a little bit of, like, gameplay explanation for H2, a little bit more than what was at E3. Um, Do you really care about this game? Just, a real like, 100% with me. No. Okay. Uh, we're talking about Rage 2 now, not Doom. Because Doom, yeah. I'll actually check out. Yeah, well, I don't Rage know. I'm gonna play Doom One. I don't or Doom 2016. I'll play Doom. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do Doom Eternal or not. Maybe it's on Game Pass one day. You never I don't know about Rage, man. Like, I, I didn't play the first one. Did I, you play the demo the first one? No. Hmm. What's well, on Game I, Pass? I played Battle. Pa- uh, no. What the fuck is it called? Uh, Battle. What? We just literally just talked about it. Jesus Christ. I don't know. What are we talking about? The game with the the Bulletstorm. We oh. played Bulletstorm. Yeah. And I feel like Rage is just Bulletstorm. Well, I feel <laughs> so. Doom Eternal and Rage wait, Rage Two feel like the same game, just different environments. That's literally what it feels like. Like the uh, gameplay is yeah. pretty much the same. Just, and I just don't. Yeah. Don't really care. One, you're fighting aliens. One, you're fighting humans. That's what it feels like. But I, anyways, there's like four factions they announced in the little gameplay thing from QuakeCon for Rage Two. Right? There was like, I think there was four factions. I don't remember all the names, but there were a few different ones. And depending on where you go, obviously, that special faction has control of a certain area. And it's all open world, like we were talking about, everything like that. So, I don't know. Take, take from it. Take from I got it, nothing. Will. Great. Well, anyways, uh, Gamescom is next week, August 21st and 25th. So, we might get some new announcements or more footage Crap. from certain oh. things. Uh, I don't know about that. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> it's next Come week on, man let me let, let's be a little hopeful please. yeah i'm not, I'm not <laughs> hopeful at all for that <laughs> and tickets are on sale for gears pro circuit in san diego that's september 28th to 30th we'll put a link for that uh mlg.com or events.mlg.com will get you to where you need to go for that but check the post also yeah. if you want tickets i think if they're, they're uh, 20 dollars 19.99 each you'll you'll be able to uh, meet up with jack and tell him how much you love him yeah or not love me yeah uh, I'll, I should be and there. Um, I might only be there on Friday, on the 28th. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But if you're there on the 28th, definitely look for me. And don't punch me in the face. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Buy me a beer. <laughs> uh, I don't think they sell beer there. but um, I'm Really? Sure. You don't think that? Uh, I don't yeah, think I so. Guess. Is it not like an 18 plus? Because Gears is known for being violent. I don't... I don't know what it is. I don't look at age requirements. Anymore. I'm old. Um, <laughs> you just don't care. The only thing I can't get into <laughs> nowadays is like ARP. That's the only thing I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's fucking so funny. <laughs> That's so fun. That's funny on so many levels <laughs> that you won't understand right this second. Well, I mean, it's true. Like, um, I can't get in our like social security. I can't. I can't collect that either. But other than that, like so, age requirements, <laughs> you know, I don't think about them. <laughs> So my old car, dude. <laughs> huh? So my old car <laughs> had a fucking AARP sticker. Oh, on really? It. So that's why this shit is so funny, dude. Yeah, I I, every time I opened my door, I would see an AARP sticker on my old beater, bro. Oh my gosh, this guy. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're dying. You're I dying. looked it up one day. I fucking looked it up one day. I was like, fuck this car. <laughs> I peeled that shit. I tried to peel that shit off. It was so embedded off. into that car. Yep. It's so old. Yep, oh, not man. Going off. That's funny. Anyways, I think that's it, man. Let's wrap it up. Yep. We're good? Yeah. We're good. Let's leave it at that. Guys, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at TrueWaz. You can follow Jack at J. Nope. Yep. At J. Spin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't doubt yourself. Just go with it. Even if you get it wrong, just go with it. <laughs> Uh, what else? Find me Whoa. on the way VR. That's all I gotta say. If you have, if you have VR, if you have a Rift or Vive, find me on the Wave VR. The Wave VR. Find okay. Me on there. You can add that to show notes if you'd like. We'll leave it at that, guys. Play to your drool. Peace. F-Gunner.